previously on Banjo Tui. Well done! Now try my new challenge! Collect all of the silver coins from around Iowa Hags! You must find eight in each level and win! And then come back to the boat! Welcome back to Banjo Tooie. In today's episode, we are going to go in there and fight Gygus. Nah, that would actually be exciting. Instead, we're going to collect collectibles. Nah. So, welcome to the final cleanup. The final backtracking of Banjo Tooie. Just this, and then the final area of the game, folks. So, we're starting off things here in Wasteland, and. While I'm thinking about it, I don't know why they didn't have Hellfire Peaks be around here, since the fire and the outside kind of fits this aesthetic. And then maybe have Cloud Cuckoo Land, Cloud Cuckoo Land's entrance uh, in the clifftop. I don't know why they didn't do that. To me, that's a lot more fitting, but... Things, so... Alright, so we're going to go through lots of different worlds today and get the last few little collectibles that we have. Starting off in Pterodactyl Land. Uh, we've got one last little thing to get here. This place does still exist. It has not gone extinct. Uh, it's not under the Ice Age quite yet. Alright, so we're going to head over to where Dippy is. Because last time in Cloud Cuckoo Land, we finally got him a nice drink from the heavens. This place here is now full of water. But there's no Dippy. Dude, come out. I want to see Dippy. I want to talk. Eh, he's, he's too happy. He had his drink, and now he's probably just hibernating forever. But now if we go in here... There we go, our last Cheeto page of the game. Took forever. Okay, come on. It took this long. Don't fail me now. There we go. There we go, five. That is it. Dippy, did you know that you had a Cheeto page? A page of the great Cheeto right outside your domicile? And you were complaining about water. Why do that when you have a legendary ripped page near your house? Alright, so that is it. Farewell, Pterodactyl Land. Good luck dealing with that comet. So let's go turn in the last Cheeto page. Alright, and we're back. Let's go ahead and turn in the last remaining Cheeto pages. And even though we've turned in t about 25 pages, he looks like he has about 5 pages. So maybe he just put them aside and hasn't plucked them in yet. The fifth cheat is Jukebox. That's all the cheats he can give us. We just... We have a totally corrupted soul. We are just cheaters. Alright, so there's our new one, Jukebox, with Jolly's head. Why Jolly's head? Well, let's go find out after we put in the cheat. He's still sad, though. This is the dialogue you get after getting all the cheats. We love gloating. We just want to check in on you, man. I mean, surgically put in the pages and be happy already. Like, seriously, man. You're free. You're, you can be happy again. No? No, just sad face for eternity? Okay. He just doesn't like being a book. I don't know. I wish I was a book. Alright, so let's go put in the last cheat. There we go, jukebox. The jukebox cheat will activate the jukebox at Jolly's. So that's what it is. You may recall ten years ago, when we went to Jolly's... Stop it! Stop attacking instead of reading things! <laughs> mm. Anyway... Yeah, so we're leaving those off. We are, of course, turning Jolly on. Like... Mary Maggie does. Oh, God. Alright, welcome back to Jolly's. We are here to spend our two doubloons that we've had in our pocket forever. 
Maybe we can put them in the jukebox? No. We're just gonna keep them for eternity. Alright, so here is the jukebox. And this allows you to listen to, as far as I can see, pretty much every track in the entire game. Um, even places we haven't quite gone to. Um, and what's great about it is, I mean, there are tons of tracks. This thing does not restrict it to just the world's music. So for example, we go to Witchy World. I mean, just look at all this. We've got Wild West, Haunted Zone, Fun and Games, Madam Grunty, Mr. Patch. I mean, we gotta listen to Mr. Patch. Alright. This was a really cool thing back in the day. Also, yeah, Jolly. It cuts to Jolly dancing. Mary Maggie's not really into it, though. Come on, get on the table, dance. Oh, actually, no, don't do that. Yeah, this was really cool back in the day, because you have to remember that... Um, you know, video game music now, I mean, if you want to listen to a track, just YouTube search it, but... We didn't really have that back then. You know, we didn't really have very accessible ways of listening to video game music. If you really liked a video game song, you had to basically just go to the level and sit there and listen to the music. <laughs> or buy like a video game soundtrack from Japan, and it usually kind of sucked because it had like 13 songs. So this feature was really cool. I mean, I love the music in Banjo-Tooie and all the Rare games pretty much, and being able to just sit here and choose all of these different songs to listen to was awesome. Like, look at here, we've even got the underwater music. All these different locations. I mean, there's tons. You can just go here all day and listen to stuff. So that's a really cool feature. Um, of course, it's a little obsolete now that we just have YouTube. You can just search for these tracks, pretty much, but... I still think it's awesome. Don't you think so, Jolly? Thanks again! Yeah, okay. Fine. So that's the jukebox, that's the final cheat on behalf of Cheeto. Not much of a cheat, it's just kind of repairing something, but... I mean, that's not cheating. If listening to the Banjo-Tooie jukebox makes me a cheater, then... Anyway. So let's go on to our next area. Alright, next up is our final visit to Honey Bee. We now have nine extra honeycomb pieces. Alright, make us invincible, honey. This is the last time we'll see her. Big bear. Alright, there we go. Look how strong and tough we are, honey. How about you go with a bear like me, huh? I've got no more. Only an apprentice. Well, come home with me, honey, and I'll be the master. <laughs> nah. Still don't know if Banjo is just calling her honey or if he's flirting with her and calling her honey. That's the thing, she'll never know. Well, that does it for Honey Bee. She can go back to her honey apprenticeship. Alright, so let's move on to the next area. Alright, we are back in the best world of the game. Hi! That bear is back. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go over here to the waste disposal plant. That battery's not dead yet. Man, I need those for my remote control. And my Wiimote. Wait, what's a Wiimote? What's that? Anyway. Here we are in the waste disposal plant, getting one of our last jiggies in the game. It was staring us in the face for quite a while. Way over there across this toxic ooze. Ah, dude, look. I'm at the end of the game. You're not gonna do anything. Okay, maybe you will. Uh, uh, stop it, huh? Stop it, huh? Now 
now, check this out. Whee! I actually think the Banjo-Kazooie commercial had something like this. Had that footage of him going across in that. I thought, wow, that's cool. And there we go, Jiggy89. Is that... Okay, we did something with that, like, 89 years ago. That's it for that, and bye, Grunny Industries. I'll miss you and your underwear. And your constant progress without making any progress. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's clock out. Alright, we are here in Hellfire Peaks with Banjo by himself. And it's time for the last Jiggy of the game. And what could it possibly be? Well, we have one last thing. One thing we still, after all this time, have not taken care of. Let's go down here. This water originally was scalding hot. Uh, but now we have sent George the Ice Cube and his melted body dissolved in here. So now it's nice and cold. So, what does this switch do? Opens that up. What does this do? Drains the water. Oh no. That leads to Jolly Roger's Lagoon. And guess what? The pigs! At last, we can go for a swim. Here, take this piece of gold that we stole off this smelly, bony lady in a big, horny hat. Ah, oh, they actually stole that from, from Grunny. And there we go. The pigs are finally... they can finally swim if they even want to. But who cares about that? Look at that. 90 jiggies. Guys, that's it. <laughs> that is it. That is everything in the game. All the collectibles. And I want to say, um, I intentionally saved that jiggy for last because I thought it's taken us that long to help the pigs. I thought it would kind of be better as the grand finale uh, jiggy. Instead of the sack pack one in Grunny Industries, that didn't seem like a very good last Jiggy. So I decided to make it that one. Um, normally Jam Jars actually pops up and says, Yay, you got all the Jiggies in the game or something, but I guess because we had that cutscene going on, he wouldn't do it. So, so normally, if you get all 90 Jiggies, he lets you know that. Um, or maybe he's just not feeling very celebratory... Is that a word? Uh, today. I mean, when is he ever? Maybe he's maybe he's just not feeling it today. I don't know. When is he ever? Or maybe he didn't see it. He's too busy hiding in his silos. But that's it. That's all the jiggies. And what are we to do with so many jiggies? Why well, turn them into the great jiggy wiggy? Of course. So here we go. Let's open up the final world of the game. Alright, so what better to talk about than Project Ukulele? Yes. And the colors here are actually pretty fitting. <laughs> well, I don't want to babble on too much about what it is, because I feel like most people watching this project probably already do, and you can look it up, but... Short answer is a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie, and basically the rare error is being made by a bunch of guys from Rare who used to work there during the glory days. They've formed a new company called Platonic Games and they are working on a new game called uh, Ukulele. And if you want to get an idea about how much people are interested in this game, they started a Kickstarter a while back and it has funded at the time that I'm posting this I say at the time that I'm posting this because the number is going up all the time. 2,564,221 dollars. That is just amazing. Amazing that so many people are interested in this. So I'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Not the great one. Oh, the Quagmire. 
So what could this be opening? Uh, we have to go up a pipe. Oh, what does that do? Yeah, you're so awesome. You got rid of two beams. <laughs> well, that opens up Cauldron Keep, and that is where Granny awaits us, folks. That's it. That's the final part of the game. And I'm indeed the chosen one. Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's challenge 10. What? Seven? What? What does this do? Reopen up Grunny's old lair? What could this possibly do? Well, let's find out. Oh god, what is this? Yeah, it is incredible to me that so many people are interested in this because when I got into Let's Playing in 2008, it, it allowed me to become a part of a community that I never would have thought existed. I mean, before I got into Let's Playing, I mean, I, I seem to think that I was one of the only people in the world that even knew what Banjo-Kazooie was. It was like Rare was this company that made games for me. Um, I mean, I had no idea it even had fans, and for them to come back and want to do something like this, and it gets a million dollars funded in like two hours or maybe even less than that you know, and it's over two million dollars is currently backed up I mean, with 27 days to go I mean, this, it's incredible I mean it, this really is an amazing time for video games it just, it just keeps getting better and better I, mean, I don't see how anyone can look back on older games and be like, oh, this was the good old days, you know, video games nowadays are blah, blah, blah. I mean, I mean, I'm just amazed every day about everything that comes out. I just, I always want to know what new things are coming out and what gaming news we have, because it just keeps, it's just better and better all the time. So, I'm excited for this game. I'm maybe not as excited as I would be as I could be, just considering you know, it doesn't have Banjo and Kazooie. I know it's just a nostalgia thing, but I'll get over it, I know. This is as close to Banjo 3 as they can get, but yeah, I'm definitely excited. I mean, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Okay, so now that we've done all that, we now have a little bonus game that we can play. This is kind of like the bottles bonus challenges in the first game, in that they are similar in their mechanics, and that they are basically pointless. They're just a fun thing you can do if you so desire. So let's go ahead and check it out for a little bit. Wow, they didn't give you time to read that at all, did they? So yeah, it's just kind of a regular puzzle, except this time there's a twist. You have to rotate the pieces. Some of them are not just drag and drop. You have to rotate them a certain size. And this one is Jiggy Wiggy themed, and yeah, we're not doing that. It was to be expected. What are you talking about? I'm the chosen one. So yeah, do that if you so desire. I do not so desire. So I'm now going to take a big poo poo on Jiggy Wiggy's temple and never come here ever again. You were a fun guy, Puzzlehead, but we are done with you. I think I'm going to miss Jiggy Wiggy Bite Size most of all, though. Goodbye, Jiggy Wiggy Lunchable. But one last thing before we go to the final part of the game. Well, we couldn't go off to the final area of the game and take on Grunny without Banjo and actually Kazooie. I mean, come on. Who wants to see Banjo and some weird dragon stranger take on the witch? So, that is it for the dragon. We have now have Ban Banjo and True Kazooie together. This is it. It's been over 50 videos. We're finally heading out of here. So let's grab these. Head 
up to the final. <coughs> oh, goodness. Guess I'm allergic to climbing, huh? I don't know how I made it this far, though. Alright, there's the entrance, but first... Like, like we're gonna be needing to leave here and go back up here again. What, you think I'm gonna fail at fighting Grunty? No way. I have this anger balled in me for 50 videos. Oh, this is the secret exit. It's not really much of a secret if you announce to the whole world it's a secret. Next video. It's on, Grunty. It's on.